Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the live. Okay, I think I have everything set up. If it sounds weird or anything and you're in the chat, please let me know. Because I do not think I'll be able to tell. Good morning. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I was not able to get a video out this morning because for some reason, when I was messing with some OBS settings, I think it decided, hey, let's record in this super random format that gets corrupted and you can't actually use in any normal editing software. So here we are with a little live stream. To start off this Easter Sunday or Saturday. Yo, good morning. Second night in Lord Prince. Thanks for joining, man. You guys are on point with the early gang. Love to see it. I have done some streaming in the past, but that has pretty much just purely been on like Twitch, and that was like a year ago. So I have not streamed in a minute. It has been a while. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have six hundred hundred dollars because doing all this research stuff requires a lot of dying and a lot of footage equals a lot of loadouts in a trash can. So I need to make some money today. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy making those hunt videos. They're they're really fun to do. Um, I like the creativity you can get kind of making those scripts and stuff. A lot of fun to record. Something new that I haven't really seen uh, anybody else do before. And yeah, they're, they're cool to make. I've been thinking, you know, this summer, I might like take a week or two off of making them and like almost make a more like comprehensive season almost, if that makes sense. Like maybe like six episode, six episodes and I like release them daily almost. And it has more of like a comprehensive like theme almost. Yeah, no, for real. Um, well, because I've been prestiging a lot. Um, I'm, I just hit prestige 10 like a week or two ago. And you keep getting like $8,000 every time you do it. And I have not been getting a steady flow of $8,000. So it is broke boy season for sure. Yeah, my, my main friend I play this game with, yeah, he has been broke for a long time. Like this free character broke. And... For some reason, if, even if we win a game, it's only like, yeah, 400 hunt dollars. It's like not even enough to do anything. And like, they, they did add those little like, what, cashiers and stuff, which is cool. But I feel like at least I'm not picking them up too often, to be honest. Oh, I didn't even grab the other clue. Look at me. <laughs> For real. I have been liking this uh, Cladwell Marathon, and that is only like a hundred hundred dollars, so... Not too bad. You know... And with the same friend I was playing with the other day, we had a game where we got like, you know, 10 kills, both bounties. And then as we were leaving, you know, as a joke, he like, oh, I'm going to throw dynamite in the water and it's going to be funny until it actually exploded because it had like glitched onto my leg and we blew up and lost everything. And since then, the duo's losing streak has been real. I don't know. I feel like solo trio is like somehow easier than playing like normal duos oh wait is that oh no that's weird the, the, the number one symbol for the boss is like on the cash I don't think I've ever seen that before
Oh, come on. I swear those birds are so finicky. Yeah, I know. I thought I thought it was almost like, um, like that means a solo token's there, but nope, that is just the number. Yeah, hopefully get some some good wins today. You know, I, I can I can be half decent if I if I put my mind to it. Alice Farm, mm, brother. I also found out the hard way recently, I did not know that those like um, event point statues can blow up and like kill you essentially. Like I accidentally had like shot one close to me and I like almost died. I did not know they did that much damage till like recently. Ooh. Some action at healing waters maybe? You know, honestly, I really don't want to solo kill the assassin. That just not nah, seem like a good idea without poison. How am I gonna solo research six stars? You know, that is a great question. You know, for that, I may need to assemble a team. You know, in the past, I have gotten up to five star, but. That also took a while. Well, here's the thing. I think I honestly could roll in five or six star lobbies if I like was grinding. I just would like need a team with like communication and stuff because playing with randoms in five and six star is like literally the worst. All right, it's about to get serious here. Hold on. People are dying. Activated the drone. All right, one guy there. One guy in the cache. Oh, he's coming close. I can never see in this tall grass situation, so I swear. Dang it. Should have waited for the headshot. Oh, I, I didn't even bring my drone back to me either. I just like let it go. Rookie mistake, I guess. Oh, here's the gang. Oh, there's another researcher skin. Look at that. This is where you let them pass. Oh my gosh. Mistakes have been made. Trap the enemy. Gosh. And the bees are gonna kill me? Yep. Dang, son. Alright, honestly, I think another team came in. 
Yeah, I, I, I am planning to do a six star research at some point, but oh my gosh, how soon or easy that's going to be kind of depends. Dude, that's awesome, guys. That's awesome. Hold on. He also died. It says potential here. If I can loot him, get a bar back, I might actually be chilling here. Hold on. Like, I actually would have lived that without a high bomb. High bombs, they only ever work, like, when they get thrown against you, I feel like. You know? Whenever I throw a high bomb, I end up dying immediately. Life is just not fair. Okay, I'm somehow alive. That's why, okay, that's honestly why the Lamat's one of my favorite pistols right there, because you can just have it on shotgun mode before you get up and it, it can work. Yeah, that's true. Oh my gosh, they're throwing the whole bomb squad at me. That hits me? No shot. No shot that hits me. Yeah, the, the, the outside backfire is, it's bad. Okay, at this point I just need to run. Oh, I'm dead. Like, no, for real. Everybody just pulled up to the center cache, I guess. Okay, this is first game on. You know, I gotta get warmed up, you know? Get the juices, the gaming juices flowing, you could say. That's honestly one of the hardest places to fight, I think. Like, fighting indoors is, like, so much easier in a lot of scenarios because you don't have to, like, fight in the tall grass the whole time, and... You can't see anything, then somebody, yeah, throws a hive bomb or some big bomb and kills you and everybody you know. Good morning, Anatoly. Welcome to the stream, man. Oh, I missed the cart. I need to find a restoration right now. I wish I could have looted some bodies there, but I think the whole crew pulled up. The Rocky Challenge? Is that just fist only? Let's speak of the devil. I got a hive bomb on me right now. My best bet here is going to be wide swinging back to the cache, get restoration. By then, they'll banish. I'll swoop in, get all the kills. It'll be chilling. You know, that's just what's going to happen here. Fist only with Berserk, that, that's like low key impossible. But also, if you pull it off. That's awesome. Yeah, man, that, that is an awesome idea. I just don't even want to imagine how long it takes to actually get like a good game. <laughs> oh, man, bare fist. How, how many hits is it to the body with bare fists to get a kill? Three hits to drop a guy. OK, that's actually not too bad, but also kind of, that's kind of bad. Like that's that's gonna, that's gonna be hard. Yeah, that is true with the top grass. I mean, that's where like the hive bomb is actually like kind of the best if you can like back away because it'll just like track them people. But yeah, tall grass is it's tricky. 
Three with Primal. Okay, yeah. Well, and like with these hunt videos I've been doing, right? I'm like often just like standing still, like looking through like a uh, the spyglass, right? And like people just will not see me at all. And I'm like super close. And if I just don't move, yeah, they just do not see me at all. I can just get away with like whatever. I don't even have a pledge token yet. Dang, bro, I'm broke. I just want restoration, please. Okay, so I just need one more statue, eh? There's probably a decent chance of there being a body I can loot, to be honest. Okay, they're fighting. Probably going for boss at this point. Realistically, I probably just should have let that one original team like pass and like got them at a later time, but this is what it is. Good morning, Gary. Yeah, okay. Even before I started doing the videos, right? I would unironically use the spyglass. Now that might seem crazy, like why would you not bring like a decoy fuse or something? But realistically, if you're running like, cause I'd, I'd run like uppercut and then like a hand cannon or something like very close range. So like my far range capabilities would just like suck up, you know, with that setup. But if I ran the spyglass, you know, then you're chilling. Yeah. Now, what I did run for the video that I would never ever use is the flashlight in the first one because that is, it's truly just awful. Side note, where are any people? Or like, I just need one single point altar right now. But the flashlight is not even enough to like blind somebody. Like I was really testing it with Gearson in the chat right now, and like, I would like point it in his face, and it just wouldn't even like. Okay, if it was closer to like a flashbang, if you turned it on and it had like a five second cooldown. Yeah, yeah, I recognize. You know, I recognize that that's probably true. You know, I don't think anybody else has ever used it unironically. But hey, there's a first for everything. You know. <laughs> I'm the sole reason why it's keeping alive. They looked at the they looked at who's using it on their statistics and it's like, oh, one guy is still using it. We better we better keep it. Yeah, no, these these creatures are they're they're strong this morning. I'm just I just need to find like a single point altar and it's like the one time where there's just none anywhere. At this point, I might just have to send it and like try to loot a guy for a bar because it sounds like they're fighting. So I might just have to get in here quick. If there's not one like immediately right here. Yeah, like honestly, you just like max the gamma out in your settings and nighttime is just like not that big a deal, to be honest. Well, and it's like I feel like flashlight, I feel like they should have a different like <laughs> slot just made for accessories like that, where it's like, yeah, you're never going to use it ever over like a Constantina trap, but like it'd be kind of cool to run occasionally. I think that would be kind of cool, like a like a like a shoulder accessory spot. You could get like a spyglass, you could get like a you know, shoulder knife. I don't know. Okay, so the enemy team is in the premises, but there's also an altar here. I know this is basically just a walking simulator at this point, but I'm going to go back, finally get the restoration, and then head back here and kill everybody. That's the plan. You 
You know, Jumble, I really tried to see if I could get the AI voice for the stream. However, I don't think I can right now. They're, they do have like a speech to text, but it's not like a live thing you can do. I don't believe. You know, I, I think it's just um, like a downloadable version. So I'm going to have to look into it because ideally that'd be kind of cool, right? Okay, hold on. I just heard, I think, a subscriber notification. Let me, I don't, I don't, I don't know why it's not showing up. Let me just check here. Let's see. Yo, second night. Thanks for the sub, man. Glad you're here this morning. Yeah, I have, the um, using stream elements, if anybody's ever familiar with that, to get like alerts and stuff and I just not, did not have it open. So there you go. That, that was a major delay if that was nine minutes ago. I have to figure that out if I ever do more of these in the future. <laughs> All right, the real question is how am I going to kill this full team in Alice? Let's see. I see an enemy combatant. You know, I actually, I like the event. I know a lot of people are kind of getting burnt out in these events, but I'm still relatively new to the game. I think I started actually really playing in like October of this year. This is where you throw in the high bomb. Um, so I'm not super burnt out of this type of event. I think it's cool. I liked how the other one you could get a lot more restoration, but I understand why they would not want to do it again. How long do you cook one of these? I don't remember. I'm just going to do that. That's a red barrel, that's a red barrel. Dude, that hits? What kind of big bomb is that? Holy. No, I'm dead! No. Yo, chill, 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 chill. Oh man. No voice chat? Like, come on now. Yeah, no kidding. The territorial disputes are getting rough in three star. The question is, is this guy gonna be a G and let me get up? Hey man, I'm a friendly researcher here. Okay, it's a full team. I thought it was a solo. You see, sometimes voice chat can work. In this case, I'm probably screwed. Good morning, Smokey. Thanks for joining the live, man. You know, that's a fair point. If they can't burn me, I'll just wait. A second here and see. I think they just placed a trap, but if I am underwater and they can't burn me. But only if, if it's Constantine trap, I think I'm dead though. I mean, at this point, I might as well just get up here. Let's see. Three, two, one. Yep. 
Yeah, I don't think I can have another one. All right. That was the warm-up game, though. Now it's time to get locked in. So, sm so Smokey, basically, I traveled the land, found their center clue, which is like their hub, and then I played Walking Simulator because they brought me down to 1 HP. I was at the point there where I almost had to get helicopter lifted out of the area. That's how close it was. You know, Anatoly, thank you for the offer, but I am not down to goon, man. That is all you. Is duos or trios better for solos? I might, I'm going to run a duo. Try to, I don't think I've ever played duo solos, actually. But, you know, I might as well give it a try. And I don't know why the alerts were so glitched. They really shouldn't be. Trios, I got you. Yeah, I've heard good things about Escape on Tarkov. I've never played it personally, but I know a lot of people do like it. I have actually, I actually have been really liking this game. Um, I think it's it's got such a cool dynamic of how it's really, really different every time because I came from playing mostly Fortnite, right? That was my game, right? 2020 to 2023. It was just Fortnite over and over. Also, Anatoly, I did see you subscribed. I don't know why the alerts are being slow, but thank you. So I have like, yeah, 3K hours on Fortnite. And going from that to this game, as you can probably imagine, this is way different. Well, that's what I've heard with Escape on Tarkov. It's like it's it can be kind of like slow and like brutal almost, you could say. I don't know if that's right, but something like that. Yeah, no kidding. Well, and I'm pretty good at Fortnite. Like I can like I'm max rank, right? And I haven't played in a while just because I feel like what well, partly why I got into this game actually is because my dad plays this game. Like he's been playing this game since 2021, I think. Like, yeah, he is really big into this game. So he got me into it. Um, I'm probably better than him. I'm just going to be honest. Keep it a hundred. I'm probably better than him just because I've had more gaming experience and I'm not in my 40s, but <laughs> um, yeah, so that is where I started is like, yeah, October. Well, te technically it was like not this last Christmas season, but the one before, but I kind of like fell off the game a little bit and then Fortnite's been really slow. So I was like, you know, what? I'm going to give Hunt a try again. Really been liking it. I really like the dynamic you get of like, um, the different it's almost like a different game every time but like also very similar I and mean, you kind of get that with Fortnite of how it runs but like it's just so different almost every game of what can happen like the different spawns and stuff like I've played like Call of Duty and stuff in the past where it's like you just spawn in the same thing and just get team killed immediately and it's like it's not not the vibe oh why am I going to the small zone what am I doing yo good morning Lilith welcome to the chat Yeah, I think it runs really well, especially for like a smaller game with like a smaller team. You know, like I think it's, it runs well. It's got a cool community. I think right now I have about 200-ish hours in it right now. This is where I'm at, so not, not too crazy compared to a lot of guys out there, but it's fun. See, this microphone I'm using, so my mom, right? Oh, dang it. Oh, well. My mom used, used to do a podcast, right? 
So she had this podcast mic, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to take that. Um, so that's why the mic is not not the worst. You know, it's not a little bit better than a headset mic. It's still pretty old, but I think it is doing the job. Yeah, no, literally. COD is like you just, yeah, you spawn in with your shotgun and you just like throw a grenade, instantly die, and, and like it's just like a die and repeat simulator basically. A little, <clears throat> a little fort game, maybe. Dang it. <laughs> like, how does that horse activate, though? Like, that's crazy. I am very excited for the new Crytek engine that's going to be coming out, you know, within the next year, I think. It, I think it was announced within the year, potentially. So hopefully that will be cool. I wonder like how that'll change if that's like just purely graphics or like I don't really know what all that entails, but it seems pretty hype. <laughs> yeah, hard allegedly, yeah, that's fair. Yo, Lord Prince, thanks for joining the stream, man. Appreciate it. Have a good day at work. April, actually. Okay, that's a lot sooner than I thought, actually. I was kind of hearing that it would be like not this update, but like after the next one or something. Yeah, I mean, a, bit, a new engine change in the game, like, at any point, it's going to be such a big update, like, I'm sure it's going to take forever. Yeah, most of my solo experience has pretty much been in trios. If I'm like, yeah, I do play a lot of solos naturally, but I will play randoms occasionally. I just find that like with randoms, it's it actually is just so random if you're going to get like a decent team. Like if you get a decent team with randoms, like it's fine. But most of the time, like as soon as somebody dies, they're just like leaving stuff. And it's like it, it's hard to do it that way. Yeah, that's a fair point. Getting burned less. Yeah, and like, yeah, there's probably is a better opportunity for like third parties to come in. Whereas like duos, it's going to be a lot like harder to do that. Well, I'll play duos with my friend occasionally. And it's like, I feel like it's way sweatier in a way. Like it's so much. I wouldn't even say it's so much harder. It's just so kind of is though, because I feel like people in trios they play trios more in randoms, so like every time you play duos, you get like the most coordinated team of all time. Yo, Desert, thanks for the subscribe, man. I, I don't know. Okay, it looks like the alerts are coming up. Yeah, I kind of like. As I'm used to streaming on Twitch, so streaming on YouTube is a little bit different, and I was kind of just throwing together the alerts last night, so they are a little bit wonky. Ooh, you see, I'm a big hardware tech nerd, and I love building PCs, I love all that stuff. Yeah, new motherboard and CPU is exciting for sure. So if you guys know anything about hardware, I have a 4070 Ti graphics card, and I got it for like $400 with like some return like deal at Micro Center, and it was like some crazy deal like never seen before. <laughs> All right, let's kill this little spider here. Uncontested for now. The 
but thank you though appreciate it yeah i mean if you buy any kind of new new cpu and motherboard you're probably going to be pushing more than 70 fps but it kind of depends what uh graphics card you have i bet Yeah, Jumble, that was it was literally the deal of the century, pretty much. I mean, that's like a at the time it was like a nine hundred dollar graphics card and I got it for like less than half off. Come on, Spider. Oh nice. Last hit. This beast is ravaging me. I'm gonna banish it from the hell it came from. There we go. Well, 6700 XT is pretty nice. Yeah, trios, I think, honestly, is more fun and better. Only if you actually have like a team that, if anything, has like at least like a discord call or something because like you often like i find with randoms like you often just got like the guy that like either leaves right away or like he's just doing his own thing like we'll be chilling at the boss and he's like at heritage or something and it's like what are you doing You know, I typically save traps for, like, people in duos, but I bet I should probably just trap this up a little bit, you're right. Yeah, upgrading in stages is pretty much how I've done it the whole time. I think when I originally bought a PC, I may have got it all out right, but that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I, I honestly, it's so funny. I'll be in a trio, and like, I'll, I'll, I'm the kind of guy where I'll, I'll just be yelling in the microphone. I'll be honest. I'll just be, I'll be, I'll be going crazy in the mic. See, I actually have at the, at the Goodwill, like a few weeks ago. I found like one of those USB foot pedal things. It's got three of them, and it was like three dollars. So I was like, I'm just gonna give it a try. Having a cheap little foot pedal under your desk is low key nice because I have one button for. Um, like push to talk in games. I got one for like screenshots. You could have one for like deafen on Discord or something. Like it's got a lot of use cases. I'm gonna deploy the drone here to get some surveillance footage. Yeah, the mute teammate. Gotta love it. Wait, does the bar... Well, hey, you learn something new every day. I did not know the barbed wire could break your drone. But here we are, I guess. I suppose that makes sense, to be honest. Yeah, no, the foot pedal... The foot pedal's nice. However, this one I got, the Goodwill, was pretty cheap and, like... I had to, like, look back a while ago to, like, get the right software. Like from 2014 I had to find the software so that was a little bit annoying but I think they're relatively inexpensive either way well I think solos are a cool dynamic like I think the fact you can get like a magpie necromancer and all that um oh a little solo hold on yo are you a solo you can have the token I'm not gonna fight you You, you want to just have it? It's all you, man. You gonna play nice? Def, all right. Well. You know what, I'll trust you, man. You can have all the tokens and junk you want, so that's all you. 
Good morning, man. See guys, this is this is a whole wholesome interaction right here. This is why solos are cool, because you can just pull up with your homie here. Let's see, I found myself teaming with one of the creatures to hunt a larger pack. Nah, I'm not gonna punk him. I'm not gonna punk him. EVPP quests. See, I'm not gonna be a troll. You know, teaming with the solo and killing him after, that's low key to super cringe. This guy's chill. Yeah, I, f I found. Yeah, I found a. Uh... Ooh, okay, let's get him. I found another fellow researcher, and we are now approaching the three stars. Seems there's a savage crew of three, and we must take them out. That'd be funny. I didn't get tokens yet, so this could be this is gonna be interesting here. Yeah, we got a meathead ahead, and a trio there. I don't have Serpent, but it's all good. Yeah, you got the Meathead. Yeah, they're, they're not ready for us to be solos at all. No, you know that's one hundred percent my bad. I thought it was going the other way. Uh, I'm so stupid. All right, well at least they're not gonna realize we can get up. Okay, this is gonna be interesting here. Yeah, low key. He even told me. He even told me. That's crazy. Strike bomb! Not even a hit. Crazy. Yeah, I'm going all the way up here. Maybe I'm the one tripping. Maybe I'm the one tripping here. Alright, let's see. Did homie get back up? I don't think he did. Alright, one down, one down. Oh shoot! Don't blow me up, don't blow me up, don't blow me up, don't blow me up. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come here, boy! What? Okay, we're cooking, I'm cooking. Okay, this, this pack is very aggressive right now. Oh, he's back, he's back. Homie, he's back. Alright, I'm gonna trap this guy. Gotta put two traps down every time. Okay, burn a homie. Okay. Alright, a 1v2. Always oh, up in here. He's trying to get his homie up. Alright. This is really the grenade of the century. Middle floor. I might have accidentally tried to blow him up there. <laughs> See, the, I don't know if he's the inside or outside one. I think that's him. Oh no, that's him. 
I think, okay, I might have tried to throw a grenade at homie. <laughs> yeah. That's the part about teaming with a solo and in battle, it's like, I don't know who's who. <laughs> I'd feel so bad if I killed him there. I'm glad I did not. Oh, we got him! Let's go! That's it. Let's go! W researchers in the chat. Burn him just to be safe. All right, that is how you do a good partnership. Alright, we took out the savage crew of three stars there. It was a little bit intense. You know, almost fumbled the bag by running in to their traps. You see, that's just... I haven't, I haven't seen that yet. I did not know they evolved to the point where they can now place traps. It was definitely not homie's traps. The fellow researcher, he had it down. He had the plan. We got it executed. And you see, that that's why the researching community is so strong in Hunt. It happens. It happens. Yeah, the, the messaging. That's funny. Keep him as a pet. <laughs> yeah, lock him up inside. Maybe I should do that one of these days. I should lock one up and capture him. Yeah, I have. I really like how the the voice chat works in this. I think having like a game like this, where it's like a PvP and having prox chat at the same time, is like awesome. Yeah, it's super cool. I mean, I think proximity chat in like almost every scenario just has like the possibility for like the best moments too. Like that, like that's never ever happening there. And when I just did that duo, like otherwise, you know. And I got both tokens. It's a done deal right there. <laughs> chain him up in my and chain him up in uh, lower the cell and have him bark at all the intruders. If any of you guys ever seen Maze Runner, I think they do it in that movie. They chain up the zombies and stuff. Yeah, solid little win. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I... Oh wow, that was the entire lobby. I suppose maybe Saturday morning at 7.50, not a lot of people are on, but... Uh, let's see, we had yeah, Terminus East, and then the two random guys. All right now I can actually get some traits and stuff, this is sweet. Yeah, that'd be, I don't think I've ever ended up actually teaming with, like, another team other than Solo, but that's cool. So yeah, my dad and I, we typically play around the same time on Friday nights. And one time I had actually, like he plays his own group of friends and I had actually gotten into his game before. And I was like, what? Cause I had like killed him and then saw that it was his name. And I was very confused at that point, but it was cool. 
All right, get some beast face. Uh, honestly, conduit. I'm not ever really normally taking it, but when you're running katana, you need as much stamina as you can, really. Uh, serpent, it's a must have, and self skin, probably. Stacked now. Okay, yeah, I didn't know EU was like that. I mean, I know it's very popular in EU, but yeah, I'm like if you're playing a downtime, like even like I've played at like 2 p.m. on like a Thursday, right? And there's definitely some dead lobbies for sure. Well, I also do have a stim as well. I was even debating running two stim shots, but I figured probably having like a a dynamite will be better. Oh, Lilith, if you weren't here to start the stream, I had three hundred hundred dollars to start, so we are actually rolling in it right now. Because I like just prestiged not long ago, and then I went on like a duos losing streak, and turns out when you run like Mosin full shots and katana every game money goes down rapidly when you lose Yeah, that's what I thought second night. Yeah, it's very German Because it's kind of funny because in my YouTube analytics I think it's like 40% of my viewers are German or like from Germany at least Man, learning how to drive is fun. I actually really like driving. Um, I think a lot of people find it pretty stressful, which is, to be fair, very reasonable. Like my sister right now, she's learning how to drive and it's she's having a little bit of a hard time with it, but she's getting there. I actually find it quite relaxing. Like I enjoy even driving in like traffic, like as long as it's not like stop and go terrible, like I don't even mind driving. See, I'm a big audiobook person, you know? And put the audiobook in the car, and you're, I'm chilling. You know, I'll, I'll drive all day. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, big German. <laughs> nice. Country roads, yeah. I'm like, I live in a place where it's like 30 minutes to super inner city downtown and also 30 minutes south into straight farm fields. So I'm like right in the mix, basically just the suburbs, but like it's not much of a difference between country and then straight city. I'm like on the edge. You know, I've actually wanted wanting, <clears throat> excuse me. I've been wanting to learn how to drive a motorcycle, honestly. Um, I actually have the driver's manual, but like, I don't even know if I can afford to get a motorcycle. Like they've just been so expensive, at least where I live. My dad drives motorcycles, so he has one, but I'm a little scared to drive his cause it's like an 800 CC. And I don't really think I want to drive that learning how to drive a motorcycle, but you know, maybe. Yeah, that's what I've heard from a lot of UK people is I live in America, right? Where I'll say I live in Minnesota and I think Minnesota can like fit two UKs in it pretty much. And it's like one state like this. The size difference is kind of funny to think about sometimes. Like I can drive seven hours north and still be in Minnesota. It's ridiculous.
Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. 800 CC might be a little much, you know. I have driven more like dirt bike motorcycles, you could say. Also, do you guys want me to keep the music on or should I pause it when I'm in game? Or I can like, you know, change the volume, whatever, let me know. Ooh, a double zombie kill with a katana. Yeah, I don't know what the limitations are as far as like if you need a different kind of license to drive a bigger motorcycle. I don't actually know if that's a thing here, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can just get your license to drive whatever here, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, something like that, like a 250, something like that probably would be good. Well, honestly, I don't even know if I have enough space in the garage to like store a motorcycle because like the winter here in Minnesota is like basically from November to like now because there's still snow, a bunch of snow everywhere. So I don't know if it's like how you have enough space to store a motorcycle, really. Most likely you'll need a different license. Yeah, that's fair. I probably would, to be honest. Oh, man. Yeah, like you just said, like the, the single like two grunt attack with a katana is just so clean every time. Alright, where's this meathead at? Well, plus with the Berserker, you can just kill these meatheads so quick. It's like what? The three... Yeah, four hit kill? That's awesome. No trade? Come on, no? Where's my death cheat? Some some British tea right now kind of sounds fire. I'm not gonna lie. I just got myself some water today. Five grunts in one sweep. Dang, that's impressive. Okay, 21. Okay, interesting. You know, I'm gonna have to look that up after the stream today, because that has intrigued me quite a bit of like when you can get what kind of license. Well, because I know here, when you're 16, you can get a provisional license, which is like basically a full license without like. Or there's like certain restrictions on it. Like you can't like be out past a certain time, like that kind of thing. Oh. Hey, Jill! Hey, Jill! Ah! Well, I win. You know, I respect the fellow Katana user, to be honest. I respect it. But unfortunately, he's gonna have to burn. That was, that was the last thing I was expecting. <laughs> this guy really wants to just keep me with that katana, doesn't he? Well, now I can't burn him, dang it. Oh, wait. Is there a... Uh, here we go. You know, would have been cool to team again, but somebody running at you with a katana? Eh, that's a little bit, uh, a little bit scary, you know?
Yeah, that's fair. Like, I think either way, even if I could drive a bigger bike, as you get a license, there's no restriction. Like, I probably wouldn't just because, like, that's how you, like, actually die. <laughs> Yeah, I think here here you can drive technically alone at 16 if you get all your permits and stuff done, but you don't like get a full license until you're 18, I don't think, which is like you can basically have no restrictions essentially. I didn't actually get my license till I was almost 18 because of COVID, honestly. Like I I, I couldn't like you had to do three behind the wheels here, which is like basically driving training. But I had to wait like six months in between every single one because of the COVID delays. Um, and it was like impossible to get any. So I had to wait a long. I mean, it didn't really matter either way because it's not like I was able to go anywhere, but. Oh, well, I guess. What can he do? <laughs> You know, I don't know how common this is in the UK, but like driving like boats around lakes and stuff. Now that is like the peak of fun right there, to be honest. Oh. Yeah, I think it really depends on the driver when it comes to like your your amount of risk you take when driving a motorcycle or even a car. I mean, it totally depends on the driver. I'm not, I'm just trying to be safe, you know. Like, I'm not gonna be, I'm not trying to race, you know, I think that even just cruising is so fun on a bike, but I'm not trying to do anything crazy. Or make it stressful for other people. Cause like, I've been in a situation where like, when I was learning to drive, like, yeah, there's a motorcycle going like 120, like in the shoulder passing me. And it's like, it's so fast, like you just see them barely in your your mirror and they're already gone and it's like it can be pretty startling for like even the drivers too yeah well minnesota they call the land of ten thousand lakes um and it's yeah it's it's super cool there's a bunch of lakes around here my grandparents used to have a boat they don't anymore but yeah we'd go tubing and stuff if you can highly recommend it's super fun Not really a lot of people in this lobby so far, just that solo so far, so we'll see. Striking out again for clues, jeez. So now is a good time to pop the regen and stuff. I mean, honestly, I kind of feel like I'd be almost the same way of like if I actually started driving, especially a faster bike, like I would like it maybe a little too much and do stuff I probably shouldn't be doing. So like, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm the kind of guy that probably could do that. So I'm a little bit not like scared, but a little hesitant, maybe. Yeah, that actually sucks. Crashes are no fun in any regard especially when it's not your fault you know i've actually heard i think there are some like quarries around where i live too actually that are apparently pretty popular spot for swimming i've just i've never been though i think they're like an hour away okay a little uncontested spider maybe yeah uncontested nice oh hold on Yeah, honestly, I could probably kill the spider before they even get here. Well, the katana is also super nice because you can kill them so fast. Yeah, that's what I've been told by my dad, especially. He's been riding for a long time, and that's what he says pretty much is... Gotta watch out. 
Well, I've heard the best way to drive a motorcycle is like not really like aggressive, but like not really a f like defensive either. Like you want to be like making moves so you're out of the way of stuff. Yeah, Katana is, I really like the Katana. It's one of my favorites for sure. Like I've used Bomb Lance, Bat, you know, Saber, but I think it's just the best one. Well, and ever since they added it as a small item where you don't need Quartermaster, it's just gotten so much better too. One trap. Sweet. <laughs> Super helpful. Yeah, Jumbo, that's what, that's what I've heard pretty much with motorcycles. That's kind of the rule of thumb there. Sounds like fighting a king snake. Well, yeah, like I've said, I've ridden, I've ridden a few like um, dirt like road bikes and like some private property and stuff. And like, yeah, there's just nothing like riding a, a bike or motorcycle. Like, it's just so cool. But definitely a risk you got to weigh in your own hands as you learn to drive for sure. Yeah, Lance is cool. I've used it a few times. I think it's just the fact that it's so slow, like with uh, the shooting, it just makes it a little bit tough. Um, with um, landing up those sticks. I think, I think honestly, with the bomb lance, I think either, I think the steel ball is probably the best, to be honest. Because basically it's like a mini shotgun too, or maybe the fire breath. As soon as you start buying waxed frags and a bomb lance, it gets real expensive though. Yeah, Jumbo, I think you're, I think that's just so true. Like, it's just, you have so much more space, and it's just kind of made for driving more a little bit. I, mean, I can imagine driving a motorcycle. I mean, here, even driving a motorcycle here, it's already a little hard, but, like, let alone the UK, like, I, I can't even imagine. Got to be a master with them gears at that point. Yeah, I think one steel ball, one default with a bomb lance. That seems probably like a good idea. Pretty balanced. Yeah, the direct connection you get while driving a bike. That's actually so true. Well, and I think driving motorcycles and or like a manual transmission car like just makes you such a better driver. Because like you actually have that direct connection and you have to like actually be thinking about what you're doing instead of just like, you know, just driving automatically. I mean, that's like the biggest cause of car crashes, at least in America, is like people driving on their phones. Like you can't really do that with a manual because you always have to be like thinking what you're actually doing and stuff like that. All right, is this banish almost done? I know there's a team like selfish, but I don't know. Doesn't seem like they're here yet. If there's a solo lurking around here, we can split. You know, sometimes you gotta let it be known. All right, nobody, I guess. A little single katana kill. And a bounty help me, and I'll take it. Honestly, I I really want to get a manual, um, but I I have a Honda Civic, I have an 04 Honda Civic, and I would have gotten a manual, but I got a deal on the Civic. It's an automatic that was just too good to like pass up, at least in the market today.
Oh, I forgot I had the trait where you can't get crows. Nice. I've almost been crashed into by a bunch of people driving on their phones. Like, even these days, driving like a man, like a automatic, like you gotta be <sighs> careful of other people because they're always on their phones. At least here, like it's it's so it's, it can be scary at times. Yeah, I think you're right, second night. I think, like, yeah, the reflexes and, like, dexterity required to even drive a manual these days. Oh, that's true. That's true. I do have, I got that gaming reaction time. 0 0.2 seconds. I might as well be an F1 driver at that point. <laughs> Well, yeah, I got an 04 Honda Civic, which in my area typically goes for around 6,000 US. And I had a deal from a family friend for 4,000 or no, 2,000. So I was like, I really like I just can't pass that up, to be honest. Like, I really wish I could have been manual, but, you know, you got to take the deals that come to you. I'm just hoping that within my lifetime, I can even get a manual car because like they're becoming way less common to even, like, find. Or, like, if you do find them, then they're, like, super expensive or something. Get out of your dogs. Can't stand up to my katana. I can't stand like the drivers out there that have like they just are so slow with stuff like at least here in Minnesota there's a lot of zipper merges we get like you know two highway lanes and one going into it and the amount of people that will just merge in so slowly or like they'll be like coming off the exit ramp into a, a 70 like 70 miles per hour zone and they'll be going like 40 I was like, you just can't expect to actually like get in anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Some bad headaches can really just ruin you. <laughs> that reminds me, I went to... Oh, look at that. Two solos that whole game. Jeez. I went, yeah, I went to Colorado, which is like a mount... Like, there's a lot of mountains there. It's like, I think it's 5,000 feet higher elevation than where I live normally. Which is, you know, quite a big difference. And... I was like out of breath, even just like walking. Like, it's just so much harder to do anything. And when I came back, I felt yeah, I felt like I was on two times speed just because I had so much more oxygen. And like just that difference is like crazy. Two good games in a row. The question is, will I get the level 50 this game? We'll see. I feel like, I'll, like you get the level 48 and you just die immediately. Yeah, the US East servers in the mornings. I mean, for me right now, it's 814 AM. Like, there's not going to be much people out. I just have, I have to do stuff later today. So, like, if I'm going to stream today, i got to do it now, you know? Yeah, no kidding, Gary. 
Yeah, so, yeah, this game is going to be 14 teams off spawn all of a sudden after a two player game. <laughs> oh, it's so true. It's funny. Yeah, it's early here right now. See, I typically, at least in the summertime, I work landscaping, so I have to be like up pretty early. So I'm kind of used to having the, like the earlier sleep schedule. So um, I'm pretty used to getting up early these days. You know, that's a fair point. I didn't really consider that of like, since most people are from like the UK, German, Europe area, like actually for me streaming earlier would actually be better. That actually makes a lot of sense now you say that. You know, Garrison, I'm surprised you're even awake because I know you'd be getting up at like 2 p.m. every day. Hold on, let me check something quick. All right. At 1 p.m., okay. That's cool. Oh, that's the worst, man. Yeah, you like wait. That happens to me sometimes where I wake up at like yeah 4 a.m. and then it's like oh well, I just like cannot go back to sleep no matter what. And then like yeah, 10 a.m. hits and you're just like, oh, I'm gonna fall asleep. Sleeping. Yeah, who, need, who needs proper sleep schedule? Overrated. Yeah. Well, I guess I, yeah, at that point, it's like, oh, I guess I'll just get up. Did somebody throw a chaos bomb or is that fighting? I cannot tell. I think that's a chaos bomb. Which means the homies are close. Interesting. I kind of forgot I had serpent. I don't even need to like go into these places. I can just get close. I feel like those days where you wake up at 5 a.m. not on purpose, like are either going to be the most productive and best day or the worst. There's no in between with that. It's either one or one or the other right there. Oh, I suppose that's right. Yeah, you are leaving today, so that makes sense. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I was. I'm in college right now as well, and. Uh, oh, wait. The boss is even here. What am I doing? Yeah, I better grab it just for stamina, actually. Yeah, that's actually so. I, I feel that so much. Like, I had winter break. Um, recently, and yeah, I think we had a month and a half off or something. And at a certain point, it's like, yeah, what day is it? What time is it? Doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna do my thing. Not a little spider boss. All right. I challenge thee. Ow. Yeah, two months. That's a, that's a, that's a long break for sure. Yeah, there's definitely uh, a point when the days just blend together into a continuous just like time. Yeah. 
Yeah, I gotta lock in when it. Yeah, and then that day hits where it's like, oh, I gotta go to class. Yeah, last semester I had classes that were like, I think started at 8 a.m. And then I also had a class from like 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., which is a sucky class time. It's like you're tired after the day of work and stuff. Okay, Katana Berserk is just so good. Oh, it's red. There's people. Sound the alarm. Time to lock in here. Believe they are coming from the southeast. Yo! Yeah, we raving out here? <laughs> well, that was uh, quite the experience there. GG. <laughs> I should probably, should I just let him get up? I should probably just let him get up. I think he's a, yeah, he's a solo, I'll let him get up. Oh yeah, this is the same, hey, you gonna be chill, you gonna be chill? Be chill? Oh, I see, I see. Here, let me help you with that, let me help you with that. Yeah, you need a med kit? You need a med kit? Oh, you came prepared. I see. Okay. Well, let's get this token then. <laughs> Good luck. That that's a tr that's a true patriot right there. True true patriot right there. Anatoly, is that you? Are you are you trying to Muhammad Ali me right now? Is that the idea? <laughs> Trolling at eight twenty three AM. It's brave. Yeah, that's some true balls of steel right there for sure. You're pulling up, blasting a soundboard, and then with no guns, that's, that's brave. That is brave. I can only commend that. Oh, is, is homie getting shot? It's a new team here. Guys, I think he's dead. I think, oh wait, you see, only if I had a spyglass I could see what's going on. Right now I can see him barely in the distance right there. Yeah, there he is, right there. I'm telling you, spyglass comes in clutch. It happens. I, I might need to go avenge him if he, if he died. Oh, here's the team. What is the... No way, did you just get a kill? Hold on. Is this the same guy? Did you just kill him? Oh. There's another guy coming, there's a, there's a duo coming. Are those shots just not landing? What's going on here? Well, I got one. Here, I'll, I'll hide with you, I'll hide with you. No way he actually got to kill with his fists. That's actually legendary. This is gonna work for sure. Alright, he's still over there southeast.
John Smith, that's awesome, man. Okay, he got his teammate up that I killed. You telling? Okay, these are not hitting. Are you kidding me? All right, we're gonna go get him. <laughs> that those might be some rare those might be some rare one stars, I'm not gonna lie. These might <laughs> That's it. Well at least within my range of view. Both those claws? Okay. Okay, I'll go get it too. You know, that is one of the weirdest things I've ever done. <laughs> you know, I think that's I think that's fair to say. <laughs> You know, I think those, in fact, might be some of the rare one stars in this game. Yeah, I probably should go grab. You know what? I, I might go grab one of those later, but. Yeah, they just stood there and took it, I guess. I think the I think they're running at him with a fist and yelling in the microphone might have dazed and confused them a little bit too much. I think their one star brains got a little bit decombobulated there. Yeah, they, they got that. Yeah, they got that one star money for sure. I think I think if I wasn't running katana, I probably would grab a dolch, but I feel like I'd rather have a carbine as the sole weapon than dolch right now. Yeah, deer in the headlights, no kidding. He just sees the sees the katana and fist running at him and just says his prayers and that's it. There's no point in fighting. He knows it's over. Grab a master clue, grab whatever that is. I don't know, I guess I'll take XP. I don't really need it though. Yeah. <laughs> See, when one is faced with the war cry of a three star, they become paralyzed with fear and are unable to attack anymore. It paralyzes them deep into the into their souls and they're unable to move. We're going to be honest, it worked on me, too. When he came up with the rave music, I was a little bit confused there. And I got a little bit discombobulated a little bit. Happens. Even to a researcher, it'll happen. So I better watch out. All right, let's kill this assassin. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, three stars. OK, you know, five stars, six stars. They're really not that scary. You know, like they're going to just kill you immediately. It's fine. Whatever. Three stars are the ones that will like they'll throw like 14 sticky bombs at you just to kill you. They're, they're the real, real scary ones. Yeah, like you, you, can, you can guess what a six star is going to do. You have no idea what a five star is ever going to or a three star is ever going to do. You know, that's fair. Cool. I honestly didn't even think about XP equaling money, but because I was so used to just prestiging, like this is the one time I've been level 100 for like more than a week, and I kind of forgot you just get money at this point. You know, I think that's probably the fist guy's back. Let me go check.
what's up. Oh, almost, di almost died. <laughs> I already got that one. I think there were... No, I think there were shots southwest. Um, that was a while ago, though, unless that was you. But I guess you don't have a gun, do you? Okay, that was you, because I was, I was very confused there for a minute. <laughs> That's so toxic. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Well, I mean, these US E servers right now are pretty dead. Last game we got was two people. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two star is a whole different breed. That's crazy. Hold on, I need to do something quick. Oh, wait, you guys cannot hear him. Hold on, I gotta fix this. This guy's funny. Uh. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what channel this would be. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I, I know. It might just be the three of us, or the other team. Maybe. Yeah, probably. Can you guys, can you guys hear him now? I think you should be able to hear him now. Yeah, this guy's got a better mic than I do. Loki clean. This is the second solo team up I've had today. Oh, you right, you right. Hold on, hold on. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Voice chat. Yeah, it's really weird in this game. I find you can just kind of talk your way out of most situations, and there's like you can tell by what skin someone's. Wearing on how they're going to respawn. Like, if they have, like, an Edgelord skin, like, Devil's Advocate or Reaper or something, there's no negotiation. Yeah, that's Not true. Can you guys hear him now? That worked? Sweet. Okay, that's good to know. I had to put him on voice chat. Who would have thought? Yeah, you, well, USC servers are very different this early. Russian server or game. Yeah, go, go to the Germany servers, have a million people, and be on 200 latency. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny, to be honest. Yeah. It's your shit. Well, you'll, like, die, and then you'll get a hit marker, like, eight seconds after that. Yeah. That's awesome. I feel like, okay, why is, that's like every game though. I feel like every single game, the Europe servers are always the sweatiest. Is that just me? Yeah, he dropped a uh, Vigor, if you want it. I mean, I guess I can... S I'm gonna hit level 50 this game, so I don't really need to sell it. Dude, I'm gutted with the changes for the, they did with that. Yeah, like, the proceedings is kind of dead, I feel like. Yeah, no, it 100% is. Once you hit 50, or I got to 50, and then, like, it used to be, like, every event. You could do, like, an event, or a prestige every event. And then it was... Yeah, that's, uh, kind of out the way. Like, prestige every day. And, and yeah. I prestige once this entire... 
I just say prestige 10 because I was every time I got level 25 I'd immediately prestige because I kind of feel it felt like they were gonna change it eventually um, I mean you can get a lot of levels if you win with the level 50 it just takes a long time to do that typically yeah but I mean like dude they only give you like two uh, two levels of XP for retiring a fit I know I, well cool. the first time I did it I was like I'll probably get what five levels nope two that's like that's criminal Yeah, I feel like the Europe servers scare me. I think that keeps me up at nighttime if I ever even think about playing in those. I think typically US East is very chill. I will say that. I mean, it's not always like this, you know, but it's a little chill. And I, I, I can probably guarantee you it's less sweaty too. Yeah, no. Okay, I keep thinking somebody's gonna pull up, but I guess not. All right, guys, let it be known. Tym, he's the king of East. He's the certified East pro from here on out. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you go first. Good game. See, that guy was chill. That guy was very chill. Yeah, six star positioning, one arm, <laughs> one star aim. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. If you guys even see TYM pick up a bounty or something, you might as well just unsolve the game because you're not winning. Europe three stars are like four and five East stars. That's scary, man. That is scary. I kind of feel like, from my experience, four star is like actually the most toxic though. Like three star, people are just like trying to have fun and are chill. Five star, they're all sweaty, but at least they're like respectable being sweaty. Whereas four star, they're all just toxic trolls. And that's just my experience though. Oh, Bo Katana main? That's, that's, that's scary. Oh brother, Spitzer Mosin and Dulches and Three Star is actually terrifying. Yeah, I haven't really, I've been in a few six star. No way that lobby was full. Are you kidding me? Because yeah, we had our solo guy. Mad Hatter, and then no way there was nine people worth of trios. That's crazy. All right, I am going to take a quick break. I'll be back in like, you know, handful of minutes here.
All right, I'm back. Maxed out researcher, huh? <laughs> TYM has picked up the bounty. That, yeah, you know, if I see it, I will. You know, true shot is one of my favorite guns, but since I just prestiged not long ago, I don't even think I've unlocked it yet. I loved when it was part of the event because you could just get it all the time, but. Dang, we've I've had a seven thousand hundred dollar profit today. That's what I like to see. I think that means it's a sell. I think it's time to run Mosin then. Yeah, the servers are super dead in the morning. All right, I got time to play one more game. <clears throat> Excuse me, on stream today, and then I got to go do some IRL stuff. So let that be known. Honestly, I think I spend majority of my money like re-rolling for better traits because like you get that one guy that has like Bowmaster or whatever the like bolt thrower trait and it's like I don't really want that right now you know I'd rather have like Necromancer or something nah the true shot's valid the true shot is incredibly valid I mean, I'll run Fanny if I got it, but honestly, it's not super high on my list of like things to run often. I feel like it's so hit or miss. I feel like the true shot's really the only gun besides maybe chain gun where it's like actually viable. I feel like you have a better chance of just like aiming and actually getting the shot. 15 point hunter. I think the most I've gotten was like, I think it was actually 23. Or something like absolutely insane. I think I had like Dr. Frontiersman and Quartermaster or something. And I traded them all in and it was like a bunch of points or something. Yeah, Necro, Resilience, and then Magpie. That is the go-to. Uh, TYM, basically, I'm a ho I used to be homeschooled in high school, in uh, middle school, elementary school, right? So some of my days of quote unquote school would just be watching like planet life documentaries and stuff. And I always found them really interesting and I've really been enjoying hunt and I like making videos for fun. So I was like, well, I don't think I've seen anybody ever do this and I like documentaries. So I just gave it a shot and it kind of happened. Ooh, Dr. Fan and Quartermaster, that, that's an insane stack. Well, I think you get, what, it takes one to remove, so Doctor would be eight, Fanning would be seven, that's 15 plus Physician, so that would be 19 with that stack of traits. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Yeah, I enjoyed being homeschooled. Definitely a different, uh, lifestyle than most kids, but it's cool. And at least from what I've heard, the US public schools are basically hell. So I'm glad I really wasn't a part of that too much. Can't really speak for everybody, but that's what I've heard. Yeah, I'm glad a lot of people liked it. I really enjoy making them and yeah, it's, it's fun. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, there was one time where I kept re-rolling to get like doctor, so I could like you know re-roll it for other traits, and I accidentally clicked on like I think it was gator legs and like something else, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna delete this character. There's there's no going back at this point, so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's. I think you're right, Lilith. I think it's like if you're not super clicky or like not doing what everybody else is doing, and you like actually want to like have original ideas or not be the same copy and paste kid, like it's just gonna be terrible. Whereas like I had the freedom to kind of do a lot of what I just actually enjoyed and kind of be myself, which is cool. Man, Solo Serpent is just so nice. I cannot be bothered to walk all the way to the clues. I hear an enemy. Shoot. Some bad shots right there. Dynamite for the win. Alright, that is a terrible position. I gotta reposition here. Oh! And that's why we use the Mosin, ladies and gentlemen. Trap for you. Well, and like I said, I'm like I'm half decent at the game. You know, I'm not amazing. I'm probably your average four star. Oh, he had a teammate. I'm so dead. Oh, he's right there. Oh my gosh. That's the thing with these three stars, though. It's like they're almost too chill to the point where you think it's a solo, but it's just the teammates haven't caught up yet. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, self trap moment. No kidding. I don't think they're burning or trapping me yet. I think they're just reloading. This is still salvageable. It's going to be hard, but it could still happen. I think they're just crouching on my body. I've not heard them move at all. Yeah, I think there's two guys because there was a guy shooting at me from in front of me and then the guy that killed me that was on my side. Oh, hold on. I'm going. He took everything. Hold on, hold on. No! There's another guy. Oh, you got a teammate up. Wait, is this a different team? I don't even know what's going on. They took all my guns. Hold on, I heard crows in the distance. I, I don't know. I think the Constantino was still there. So I think I killed a guy. The guy was still trapped. And the guy that killed me was part of a different team. And I have a Romero hatchet. Hold on. There's a guy on me shooting. He's getting hurt. He's looting me. They're trying to go. Nope. What? Okay, this is the most NPC fight. There's a guy throwing Constantina and they're still shooting. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait a minute or two here. Oh, and they're burning me. I think it's wraps. Can y'all just settle down? Okay, they're not going to play nice. Oh, well, it was a good run. It was a good run. That's the thing with like the two and three stars and sometimes even four is like they're almost. They're so unpredictable. Like again, like with a five or six star, like you know they're just gonna like play at a different level, whereas like these three and two stars are like it's impossible to guess what they're trying to do. <laughs> like truly. 
Yep. It's always the game after 50. Yeah, it's actually a full lobby, though. I downed him. He downed me. I downed him. He downed me. Yep. And then, yeah, it was a different team. What do you know? Grab a little dark tribute quick. Regen weak shot. Nah, I don't need those. What is this? Come on. Hundred dollars. I'd like to see it. Last but not least. Come on, give me a million blood bonds. I'll take it. All right. I need to end off stream today, guys. Thanks for watching. You know, this was really fun. I might be doing it again next week. I'll probably put out a community post if I am. I'll probably, I'm going to try to get another video out. Like again, I couldn't get it out this week because my OBS was tweaking. But I think, honestly, a video and then a stream, that could be fun. Um, thank you all for tuning in. And I will see you guys next week for some more hunt. Peace out.